Last time on the KSP Caveman Evolved Challenge. Am I dumb enough to try it? No. No, I am not. Instead, I'm taking a series of ghillie contracts. Every contract I can find that will make a huge ghillie mission. But to do this, I will be taking a science lab there, so I need my two scientists, Derny and Bob, to come home. And with only one actual spaceship, Bob needs to take his surprisingly common role as a ladder rider. You can't time warp with a Kerbal on a ladder, so Bob had to hop off multiple times along the way and get back to the ship whenever a burn was needed. And while they were on their way back, I launched a simple two Kerbal returner ship. The hardest return trip rendezvous for Bob was in the eccentric Minmus return curve in orbit, but thanks to Kerbal alarm clock and the stock encounter markers, I was able to do it all the same. Also, having a nav ball up when a Kerbal is on EVA is a huge boon to this. I barely felt the need for nav HUD at all. After many machinations, the two scientists got to the return ship, and without any trouble, came home. If you're wondering, derby riding on the outside of the capsule is standard operating procedure when you can't remember the crash tolerance of the command pod he would have been sitting in. But no fear was needed as the ship lands without a single explosion. And with no less than 12 contracts to complete, the Gilly Sciencer is ready to win us this challenge. First, we run a quick test on the launch pad. Hey, it's free money, don't judge me. And let's go. Here's our first look at the ship, designed specifically to meet all of its contracts. When we get into orbit, we make our second contract, putting a very temporary station into orbit. Not bad for $130,000. The ejection burden Eve was a long one for the two little Terrier engines, but we had nothing but time to spend. And fuel. Speaking of fuel, I never figured out why one engine had more fuel available to it than the other. It seems to be some weird bug because of how I attach things radially to decouplers, which will cause other problems for me later on, so stay tuned for that. As we leave Kerbin's SOI, we get our third contract, to set up a very temporary station around the sun. Double dipping? Sure. But for this amount of cash, who can blame me? As luck would have it, the slowdown burn at Eve just so happens to get us a ghillie encounter. May as well go for it, right? Hello, Eve. Seems like we were just here. Once in orbit of Eve, we complete our fourth contract, 1.2 million kerbucks for our third temporary station. So now we can toss aside the extra mass we've been carrying to complete that contract. And redock the top and bottom parts of the actual ship back together. Finally out of fuel in the transfer terriers, it's time to decouple them. But I can't, because they are radially attached, they're not actually on the docking ports. Time for a new mod. Kaboom! Great mod, easy to use. A++ would explode parts again. And if you thought two terriers was bad, try two spiders. Look at that 17 centimeters per second squared acceleration. Also note, we've got 370 meters per second, and it'll take over half an hour to use all of our fuel. Good thing we're almost done with the flying part of this mission. And time for another contract. Testing a wheel while on an escape trajectory from Gilly. Hey, I don't write the contracts, I just complete them. Bam, another 200,000. We've also got two satellite contracts that we're completing with one satellite. So we drop it off so it can do its thing. We'll deal with that later, though. Our 66 meter per second slowdown burn takes six minutes, but at four times warp, we get it eventually. Back to the satellite. I find a problem. I forgot the reaction wheels. And the gimbling engine. Well, that's a dead satellite and two contracts unable to be completed. I'll admit, 3.75 is probably the lowest TWR I've ever had on Gilly. I've had better TWR on Tylo. But as we come down sedately, I just keep the engines on full time. And at the last second, pitch down to flatten out, decouple the lander and living quarters from the base, and let it fall the rest of the way. You can't do that on Tylo. The final step is to get the living quarters docked to the base. And as we all know, landing on Gilly is more like docking than landing, so this is really no problem. I think the magnets actually pulled the base off the ground here, but we eventually get docked and complete yet another contract. When we eventually land. We plant the ceremonial Git Experience flag that also completes a contract, and then I noticed that I never completed the orbiting ghillie contract because I wasn't supposed to toss that extra mass until I got into orbit. Oops. But I check my cash and I find I have $3.5 million in the bank. 
So we go on an upgrading spree, and you know what? I just won. I'm not even going to bother with the rest of the mission. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you enjoyed the series. I enjoyed playing it, and I enjoyed playing the series. I'm HMV, and I will, as always, talk at you later.